That's why this administration, the Biden-Harris administration, we're working across all government and private sector to take down barriers to work organizing. We're making it clear it's the workers' choice and the workers' choice only to form a union. That's their right. The fact is unions are good for our economy. I want to give you one example of that. The railroad negotiations last month. When that issue hit the news, many people learned something new. It's something everyone in this room knows already. The American economy rests on the back of the men and women who make our freight trains run. Our economy, our economy would have lost $2 billion a day, every day, if the, railroad, if the railroad shut down. We couldn't let that happen. There was too much at stake. So we brought the parties who didn't have an agreement, and we know this already, into the Department of Labor a couple days before the deadline, actually a couple hours before the deadline. It took 20 straight hours of negotiation in our office to get it done. I want to thank President Martinez and this union for your leadership in winning a good deal for the railroad workers. I especially... I especially want to commend your pr president, Adi Matea, of TCU. Adi, where are you? I want to thank you, Adi, for all the work you did in helping this whole negotiation go through. Without you, we wouldn't have been able to do it. I want to give a shout out to District 19 President Kyle Luce and Josh Hartford for the, of the Rail Division, who also was extremely helpful to me and to us. So thank you very much. This has been a long process for your members going back two years. But your union and your members stood strong. You made it clear that rail workers deserve a better deal than what they had. I want to thank you all for all that you've done to get this deal done in this fight.